Young people, welcome back. B M B in the house, y'all. You know what's up? We're gonna take care of some algebra, and we are taking care of chapter eight, lesson one, adding and subtracting polynomials. The learning objective: write polynomials in standard form, and two, add and subtract polynomials. Vocab, as you guys know, big on vocabulary, polynomials. Um, two or more terms, and um, so students will be able to add subtract polynomials, right? Um, concept, polynomials, skill, add, and subtract. I go so far as to add distributive property as well, guys. You're gonna see a lot of that in here, um, but let's get this party started. Yeah. All right, guys, so there's my handout, and of course, the handout needs to get on out of here. So, looking like odds, one, three, five, and seven, the directions find each sum or difference. So noticing the first one is addition, number three is subtraction, addition, subtraction, addition. So recognizing that the first one, two X plus three Y plus four X plus nine Y. I just got rid of the parentheses. There's nothing in front of the parentheses, so I'm just collecting like terms. You notice I use my line method, one line for my X term, two lines for my right term. Wow, that was fast. We're gonna be going that fast this whole time? Yeah, yeah, it's collecting like terms. Notice I have the parentheses for number two though. The parentheses are staying, of course, because I see the distributive property, the invisible one that would go after that minus. So, distributing negative 2a plus negative 4b. Um, I got any arrows I wanna throw in there? You know it, right? Uh, depending on how your teacher teaches distributive property, I'm a big firm believer. I'm using the line method again, so my 5a and my negative 2a is going to give me 3a. Remember, pause as I'm going too fast, right? But we got this, guys. Uh, and of course, the 5b came from 9 minus 4. So for number 3, do you see distributive property? Number 3. It should say number 5, but third one we're doing. Whatever. m squared minus m and the quantity 2m plus m squared. This time, guys, I put my parentheses, but even putting them, I take them right away because there's nothing to distribute. Of course, the first term and the last term are like terms, and the second and third term are like terms. Noticing I'm using my cancel method here, meaning to get them all out of here, and um, boom, bang, pow. I finally noticed that mistake, right? Number three and number five. but. My editor doesn't have to worry about that. So number seven now, because we're doing odds, d squared minus d plus five, all minus two d plus five. So the first thing you recognize is the minus between the parentheses, which indicates to me, the first one doesn't change. You get your invisible one. The second one's gonna change because the two d that was positive and the five that was positive, and now is negative because I distributed the negative. Go ahead and collect your like terms. Um, I don't see me using the line method, but net circle method, even better, right? So first term, got it. Second term and uh, fourth term. Of course, five and negative five are opposites. We're going to cancel each other, therefore leaving me with nothing more than a nice, beautiful answer. So oh, last one on this little section here, guys. Parentheses 5f plus g minus 2, parentheses closed, plus the quantity negative 2f plus 3. So you would tell yourself no distributive property because the invisible one that's positive wouldn't change anything. So just get a full rewrite, getting rid of your parentheses so it's all right there. Again, using my circle method, you circle my f terms, 5f and negative 2f gives me 3f. And then my g term, Right, there's only one G, but I have two constants, a negative two and a positive three. Therefore, leaving me with a positive, and I feel good. Do you feel good? That's what I heard you, you say, yeah, good job. All right, guys, now remember, something's gonna be challenging. Uh, we like to call it a POC, point of confusion, and um, we all have them. And um, that's good because it gives you an opportunity to learn. So let's find any points of confusion in our next set. Um, we're doing it even. So again, 
Do I need parentheses or not? Um, first one, don't need those parentheses. And I don't need them because it's addition. Ooh, am I lining these up? Yes, I am. So guys, first thing you wanna recognize is <laughs> they don't match. If you notice 6S underneath that is 4T. <clears throat> I want the T's together. So the 5T plus the 4T, as you see, and then of course the 6S plus the 8S. So literally like moving the terms around because it doesn't matter how you add them. Two plus three is the same as three plus two. Eight plus two plus one, is just, it doesn't matter. But for the next one, number four, it does matter, right? Because the negative quantity, negative two M, as you're gonna see me write, and negative six M. And I'm literally writing it right underneath because I know I can just say 11 minus two now. Negative seven plus negative six, right? Or negative seven minus six, which means this after negatives. So again, I did the lineup method for these evens, and uh, hopefully you'll see it in number six as well. And um, x squared minus three x minus two x squared plus five x. And again, noticing the minus, let me well, rewrite the first one, but the second one, distributed properly. So negative two x squared and a negative 5x. Now, I'm gonna write it horizontal, not up and down like the last two, but you can still recognize what your like terms, and there they are. Your x squared and your negative 2x squared. More negatives than positives, so negative one. And then of course, your x term, negative three and negative five, well, that just gives me more negatives, so negative 8x. Box it, and let's drop it. Uh, we got room. I think we got room. Room number eight. I got two binomials, two terms. First one, 2h squared minus 5h. And now the second one, my eyes tell me I don't have to change it, so let me just line them up. Negative 3x, I'm sorry, 3h squared and a positive 7h. Real simple, guys, you can see and recognize that the second term, 3h squared, is negative, right? But using my uh, lineup method. Last one, three terms and two terms. So a trinomial plus a binomial, right? So the trinomial, let's go ahead and um, read it out together. So 6x, 6k squared plus 2k plus 9. Quantity, right? Mm. Now, what about the second quantity? It's taking so long. Oh, I know it's taking so long. I'm thinking. So, uh, what's happening here, guys, is 6k squared. And then, of course, as I look at the second set of parentheses, 4k squared. So I think I was deciding whether or not I'm gonna line them up or just keep them horizontal, right? Um, simple enough, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and line them up. Now when I say line them up, what do we know or like terms? The K squared, six plus four, 10. Next one, two and negative five. You see it, negative three. And I guess I went pretty fast because we're already done positive nine. So those of you that have been in these videos, you know, we um, get them in, get them done. So um, I guess I got to that last even and felt you guys already had it. Remember to pause, rewind, go back. Ooh, new stuff. Determine whether each expression is a polynomial. If it is, if it is a polynomial, find the degree and determine whether it is a monomial, binomial, or trinomial. So we're gonna get a pause in. Pause. And the reason why I'm pausing, guys, if you already know, vocabulary, 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 monomial, binomial, trinomial, please do not watch this video and just write what I write. You do not want to go back in the class having all the right answers. Well, maybe one's wrong, you know, I make mistakes. But having all these answers, not knowing why. Don't make sense. So, let's make it make sense. What do we know, guys? We know we're going to say yes or no. Is it a polynomial? Now, I know what makes a polynomial. Do you know what makes a polynomial? 
Guys, it's so easy. Put it into your phone, put it into your laptop, put it in. Ask Google, man. He really Google it for me. Whatever. But a polynomial. I'm gonna tell you as we do these six, right? But um the degree. How can I put this? Your exponent. The highest degree, second power, maybe it's x to the fifth power, so fifth degree polynomial. So I love teaching this in class because once those kids go, oh, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's that easy, right? So determine whether each express is a polynomial. We're going to say yes or no. If it is a polynomial, find the degree and determine whether it's a monomial, binomial, or trinomial. So last thing, if I'm writing a bicycle, how many wheels are there? If I'm writing a tricycle, how many wheels are there? So if it's a binomial, it's got two terms. If it's a trinomial, it's got three terms. And some of you already knew that, but I wanted to go over it. Let's get this bad boy started. And of course, we already said yes. And I went ahead and put it in the correct order. T squared plus 5MT. The T squared has to come first. It's a second degree polynomial. And to be more specific, how many terms are there? Two, so it's a second degree binomial. Number 12, yes, it is a polynomial. It is three terms separated by addition or subtraction. And of course, this will rewrite the first term for by. Second term, 2b, and the last term, negative 6y. See how I said negative because of subtraction? You got it. So, um, uh, what, what, I don't know why I wrote that. First degree, it's got to be because your exponent is to the first power. You don't see anything to the second power, and therefore, boom, boom, boom. So, oh, why? Did I collect like terms? Something's bothering me about 12, but I'm let it go. 13, monomial, one term. And since it is a constant, it does not have a variable, it's to the zero power, or zero degree. All right? So, and again, how can I put this? Um, yeah. There's no variable, so therefore, your degree is zero. I know where to go with that. 14, monomial, and again, your um, your exponent, 3x, and here's what's funny, x to the first power divided by 7. So, somebody's going to argue with you on that one, let them have your way. Um, how's the best way to put this? Usually your polynomials are separated by addition or subtraction. It's like saying 2x squared, all right? Or um, 14x squared yz. So um, having that division there is throwing it off a little bit, but it's just one term because it's not separated by addition or subtraction. It basically be 3 sevenths x, but I'm talking way really too much because you know, we already got 15, it's the no. And um, you see that negative exponent? You know what that's gonna do? It's gonna throw everything off. Literally, throw everything off. Uh, we did negative exponents, it belongs in the denominator, but focusing in on polynomials, number 16, one, two, three, four terms. Each one of those terms, um, of course, are separated by addition or subtraction. And as you can see, as it's coming in right about here, right? <laughs> the trinomial is a third degree because, third degree, no mistake. Oops, it should say second degree, guys. But it's out of there already, it's gone. But um, remember, the degree is the power, right? So we're going to take care of the same thing here. Um, they're not asking us to do a whole lot of algebra. It's, again, vocabulary. So write each polynomial in standard form. Identify the leading coefficient. So vocabulary, again, standard form. We want to go from the highest to the lowest power or exponent here. So the leading coefficient coefficient that's in the front, it leads. So your highest exponent, x squared, and the leading coefficient is 2. Look how far I'm already behind. Number 18, <laughs> standard form, make sure it's in order. 3x squared plus 5x minus 6, and the leading coefficient is 3. For number 19, you'll notice 
that there's an x cubed, an x to the third power. So I gotta put that in the front. That's making it in standard form. Highest power to the lowest. So x cubed plus 9x squared plus x plus 2. And of course, the leading coefficient will be 1. 20, as you can already see, I notice that I've got two exponents. Although you can say you have three, because again, for x in the number 20, the exponent will be to the first power. But again, once you get it in order, highest exponent, 3x cubed, your leading coefficient is 3. So for 21, again, I'm recognizing that, ooh, look at that. 3x cubed has the highest exponent, plus x squared, minus x plus 27. So we're literally just moving them into position. If I had anything to the 20th power, x to the 20th, the next one better be x to the 19th, x to the 18th. And of course, if we said x to the 20th and then the next one was x squared, then x to the 20th plus 2x squared. You just got highest to the lowest. So as you pause and look at this and be like, that's all I have to do? Yes, that's all you have to do, right? So for, um, where are we at here, 23? Got one, two, three, four terms. Out of those four terms, which term has the highest exponent? 5x cubed, exactly. And then, of course, the next highest will be negative 3x squared. And the next highest will be x. And the next would be my constant, regular number. And the first coefficient that I see, once it's in standard form, is 5. So, uh, leading coefficient is going to come in later on, especially in this chapter, guys. Um, as we start to factor and you recognize that your leading coefficient is 1, it's going to make your factoring easy. Also, recognizing that there'll be times where you'll need to um, factor out due to your leading coefficient, right? So, we did a very little computation today, guys. Um, we did a little bit of adding, did a little bit of subtracting after we did the distributive property. But um, second portion of this was vocabulary. Um, I would highly suggest you go back and make sure you do understand what they mean by standard form, um, leading coefficient, polynomial, binomial, trinomial, monomial. And now, uh, guys, once you get in that wheel work, once it's in between these two ears, you're good to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video.